Hello everyone, welcome to Ton Time. Today we will be looking at the iPassport Mini Bluetooth Wireless Keyboard. This is a pretty small form factor um, Bluetooth keyboard. It's supposed to work in conjunction with your remotes for your smart TV. So if you got an Amazon remote like this one, a Apple TV remote like this one, um, it's supposed to be a companion for that, for uh, basically for people who do not like using the on-screen keyboard to type in searches, login passwords, and things like that. Uh, this is a uh, keyboard here, and it's a lot quicker typing on a keyboard when you're searching um, or putting in your username and password on smart TV rather than using the onboard keyboard. So this product fixes that problem so let's go ahead and take a look at it it's fairly small as you can see it fits in the size of my hand and this is an apple tv remote so it's really small and the cool thing about it is um, i believe this has a silicone case that you could pretty much put your remote in so if you're using the remote you could use it on one side or the keyboard on the other this is a bluetooth device so it will hook up to your amazon tv or your apple tv using bluetooth and i will go through the apple tv bluetooth setup it's really easy but let's go ahead and take a look at the box so as you can see designed for fire tv stick, tip stick uh, portable and handheld so this one says it's for a fire tv stick but really it's for anything it's a bluetooth mini keyboard so it could actually work on your computer your ipad any devices that uses bluetooth connectivity so this just doesn't work on just your smart tv as you can see here it could work on smart tv computer computer android tv box any like i said anything with a bluetooth uh bluetooth um controller so yeah so this is a retail packaging fairly um Fairly simple, very compact. So let's go ahead and open it up. Upon opening, so you have, looks like you got the instruction manual. That's everything in the box, yep. You got the instruction manual. So it tells you what the buttons are, charging port, power switch, and how to pair i believe which is back here um so the device is a keyboard here and again it's in the silicone case so you can actually take it out this is how big the device is so it's like a remote size of a remote control so materials plastic uses us uh, micro usb for charging and there's the on and off switch here to save power um uh, when you're uh, not using it and I think it has a little LED indicator here for uh, connection here so this is the uh, mini keyboard this is the silicone case so the keyboard obviously fits on here it's silicone and you put your remote here and then you got the uh, USB uh, A to micro USB charging cable it does not come with a power brick that's sold separately so you could either charge it with your computer a usb port or if you have a extra one of these laying around or even the apple white one it will work um, you simply just plug this into the charger like this and then i have a live wire electricity here so you just plug it to the outlet and it charges via micro USB on the bottom right here. So um, once you charge, a little red light appears telling you that it's charging. I'm gonna take it off the charger so we can put that aside for now. I'm gonna turn it on. So when you turn it on, you see a little blue light and then it disappears. So the cool thing is this thing is backlit as well. So if you're in a dark, uh, um, dark room, you could see the um, keyboard. So let me turn off my studio light just to show you guys here. So if you hit a button, you see it's illuminated. So you got um, 
lights in the background there. So that's really awesome. So this goes back into the case here. Let me go ahead and just put it back. And you want to make sure that when you put in a case, um, there's an IR thing here, which I'm not sure why it is since there's Bluetooth and the charging port is on the bottom. So you want to make sure that is in properly like that. So let me turn on my studio light so you can get a little bit better view on this. So make sure that your, you see your keyboard in properly so you could charge it in the case. So I have three remotes here. And even though this says it's for, is mainly for TV fire sticks, uh, let's try it out to see if these remotes will fit. So obviously, since this says it's for fire TV, if you notice the groove on the case, it's really made sp the, specifically for the fire TV remote. So I'm going to make sure that the IR is on the same side as the keyboard. I'm going to flip put it in the case and put it on top here you know what let me just remove this plastic i i had the remote in another case so it's kind of stuck on there but i'll just remove it for now just for show um just for showing you guys and yeah, so you notice it's grooved down here. It's not flat, so it's grooved for this remote. So this case, uh, keyboard, when it first came out, I believe it was specifically made for the Amazon remote, and it fits perfectly. As you can see, IR is on here, and um, I don't know if some remotes have a charging port. This is a Fire Stick. It's a couple generations old that I have, but if you look at it, it still fits. Still fits fine. So you could use your remote here on the Fire Stick. And if you need to search, you could use the keyboard this way. So that's how it works. Now, Amazon remote, if it's so, we're good on that. Next remote is, this is a newer generation um, Apple TV remote. Uh, this is the older one. So this is the latest one. So let's see if this remote fits here. So let me try it this way. So this remote looks like it works. It still fits the side. It doesn't encapsulate it like the um, like the Amazon remote, but it still works. Look, it it fits in the silicone case fine, and you could use your Apple TV this way, or you could use your keyboard this way when you're ready to uh, uh, type in a search query on the app. So this case works with the newer generation Apple TV remote as well. So you don't have to worry about that since the case is rather, uh, the silicone is rather flexible. So even though the box says it's for a Fire TV stick, you can still use your uh, latest generation Apple TV remote. Now this remote, I'm already looking at it. It's a lot shorter than the two remotes here. So this is an older generation Apple TV remote with the touchpad here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to look. If you look at it, it's already kind of short. It doesn't sit so well um, with the case. So I'm going to try to make it fit. So as you can see, it doesn't fit the best, but it will still work. The, the the silicone case still holds it in. As you can see, it's not falling out or anything like that. So you can still use this remote, but it's just kind of, if you notice, there's a gap on the bottom here. It's kind of raised a little bit. It's because when they molded this case for the Amazon remote, the Amazon remote is kind of uh, has a cylinder uh, look here. And um, 
um, it's molded that way on the case. So that's why with these flat remotes from the Apple TV, it doesn't sit all the way on the bottom, but it sits up enough so that you could actually use your remote here so that is a good thing so you could actually it it still fits it still will work but it doesn't fit the best as you can see because it's um it's grooved here for the amazon remote but um these two remotes it still fits pretty good this one here it fits as well you just got kind of got to move it around so you can still use this um case if you want to have the case and a remote together um, some people might not want to use a case and just want to have the remote, the keyboard separate like that. And then when they're using their regular remote, they'll use it and then they'll use the keyboard as they see fit. So, so that's really up to you. Um, it, it this case does fit these through remote. It just fits the Amazon a lot better than the Apple one, but you can still make it fit if you want to use it, as you can see from my demonstration. So yeah. So um, next thing we want to do now is we want to pair um, pair the re pair this keyboard, since it's Bluetooth, to your device. So I don't have a Fire Stick TV um, in my room, but I do have my Apple one that I will use. So I will show you guys how to do that. But first, let's look at the instructions. So um, the instructions in here kind of shows you the profile and the buttons. It looks like to pair the device, we need to hold down the FN and the shift key till the blue LED flashes. So first thing you want to do is you need to go to pair mode on your Apple TV. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Apple TV. So you're going to need to go to settings. And then you'll need to go to remotes and devices. And then you want to go to Bluetooth since this is a Bluetooth device. And then right now it's searching for devices. So leave it on that screen, let it search. And what you want to do now is you want to go back to the keyboard and then hit, make sure it's on obviously, then hit the FN fn and shift button together until you see the blinking blue light and that's pairing mode for the keyboard now you're going to go back to the tv and as you can see it sees the bluetooth device it's called the ipad port bluetooth so once you see that click on it it's going to pair and then keyboard is now connected so you are pretty much good to go when you turn off your remote, obviously it's probably going to say uh, uh, disconnected. So I just turned off the power. It says keyboard lost connection. But when you turn it back on, it's going to reconnect to it. Just give it a second. There you go. Keyboard connected. So uh, that's how you can test it if you want to make sure that your keyboard is connected properly. So now we're going to just go and get out and let's put the remote to a test. So I'm going to show you the uh, remote screen on the lower right corner. And let's just go to some apps. So let's go to Netflix. I'm just going to use the remote. Let's say you want to search something. Um, so instead of using the uh, remote here, just use the keyboard. So let's say you want to look for... Um, my niece loves Coco Melon. <laughs> so you could just type on this keyboard here. And it's a lot faster than using the remote. Right, guys? So remote, you would have to go through here and select each one. But obviously, using the remote here is a lot faster. And then you can search other TV shows like, um, I don't know. Let's look for Rambo. If it's on, I don't really know it's on here. But yeah, so... You can search a lot faster and it's really easy to use just like a regular keyboard so it works fine and you know just just so that you guys get to see we'll try another app so uh let's try i don't think i have uh hulu signed in but um let's try paramount plus so right here you could go to your search and when you're searching um 
use the backspace and then you could search for let's say S star trek and there you go it's a lot easier obviously so earlier i was demonstrating that you could use the um the remote from your smart TV in conjunction with the keyboard, but um, you could just use this keyboard itself. Um, there's arrows down here, uh, up, down, left, right, that you could just use to scroll around. You got the home button here, and you could just pretty much just use this as your main um, smart TV remote if you want. Like, say, right now, um, I'm on my Apple TV. I want to go to Netflix. I just hit enter there. And I'm in Netflix, and I got the side menu. I could go home, you know, and then hit enter. And there's my home. If I want to go search, I just go to the left, go up, hit search, hit enter. And then I could type in um, a movie, like, say, Rambo. And then hit enter, and it will search. And I could pretty much go uh into the movie here and uh take uh take a peek and choose whatever movie i want to hit enter if i want to go back home just hit the home button here on the lower upper right hand side and then i'm the menu pops up there and i could go back home and hit enter and there you go i'm back home if i want to get out of the app i just hit home and home again and I'm out of the app, and I say, and I could go to say, say if I want to go to Paramount, hit enter, and I am in the app, and I could still use the arrows in the app too, and the search and everything. So yeah, so you got these uh, keys, uh, these side keys here to help you navigate um, around. So I notice um, sometimes um, I believe this is made specifically for fire stick um, so um, I noticed that when I hit the search button here it doesn't pop up the search um, when I hit search it doesn't go to the search on some of the apps um, so just keep that in mind but the other keys uh, seem to work um, so say if I want to go here right so so these keys aren't working in this app so so for the most part the keyboard will work some of these might be more app specific and it doesn't work when i hit the back or the little sub menu on some of it and the search but everything else like this light here works to eliminate the back light the home button seems to work uh and the media i touched that earlier that seems to work so so some of these button might not work on some of the apps it might need to be programmed um in um for um, each app um according to the developer but for the most part you really don't need that button because you could just go to home still scroll around here and use whatever you want to use yeah so yeah so that's pretty much it guys um this is a pretty awesome device if you don't want to um use your remote you could actually use this keyboard for everything that you want to uh, th for everything that you need to um control your smart tv so you don't really need the remote after you you have this but if you want to use it in conjunction um, the keyboard and the remote you just want to use this specifically for the keyboard only um, you could just use this awesome case and put your uh, put your remote in here and just use it that way so yeah you, you have your choice use these two together or just use the keyboard for me personally everything seems to work here um, pretty well so I will probably just use this device um, um, mainly for my smart TV because I could still use the arrows to navigate and execute the um, programs that I want to use so yeah so that's pretty much it guys um, this is the iPassport mini I'll put the link to the product below if you want to check it out 
And like always, thank you for watching. Uh, please hit that like, share, subscribe. And if you like the video, um, yeah, just um, go ahead and hit those buttons. And like always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out till next time.